Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Actor Alec Baldwin and a weapons specialist will be charged with involuntary manslaughter in the fatal shooting of a cinematographer on a New Mexico movie set. Alina Hutchins died shortly after being shot during rehearsals at a ranch on the outskirts of Santa Fe in October 2021. Baldwin was pointing a pistol at her when the gun went off. Two Illinois EMTs charged with murder in a patient's death made their first court appearance today. Peter Canigan and Peggy Finn now also face a wrongful death lawsuit from the family of Earl Moore Jr. Moore was having hallucinations stemming from alcohol withdrawal. Cadigan and Finley strapped him face down to a gurney after initially refusing to help him. Moore later died at the hospital. The trial began today for 67-year-old Robert Somerville. He's charged with homicide for allegedly shooting and killing Stockton Fire Captain Max Fortuna, who was responding to a dumpster fire. Fortuna served the city of Stockton for 21 years. A small plane made an emergency landing on Carlsbad State Beach this morning. There were three people aboard. No injuries were reported. The FAA and NTSB are investigating. Rock music legend David Crosby has died. He was 81 years old. His family says he died after a long illness. In Ukraine, Kyiv's mayor's warning the capital's infrastructure could soon fail due to repeated Russian rocket attacks. Russia has spent months targeting energy production in the country. The Supreme Court says it has finished the investigation into the leak of the Dobbs opinion, which overturned Roe v. Wade. In a report released today, investigators say they were not able to determine who is responsible for the leak. T-Mobile says hackers have stolen data on 37 million customers, including addresses, phone numbers, and birth dates. It happened in late November. The company says the exposed data did not include bank accounts or credit card information. Bank of America says a glitch appears to have drained some customers' bank accounts, but it has now been resolved. Most complaints involve the payment transfer service Zelle. No word yet from Bank of America on how they'll handle possible overdraft fees for those customers. France's interior ministry says more than a million people have protested across France against the government's plan to raise the retirement age from 62 to 64. Unions who organized Thursday's protests and strikes that hit transport and other sectors said more than 2 million people took part. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.